tablet seem to have been replacing laptops recently. And whilst I can advocate the iPad Pro for being a fantastic tablet, when it comes to the cheaper stuff, the sub 300 pound kind of space, I wanted to kind of explore that a little bit because I'm in a position where I cannot spend a lot of money on a computer. So I've had this ThinkPad for around six to nine months now and I want to explore and explain why this is probably one of the best cheap laptops you can get. Before we start this video, I wanna thank Sebi's Random Tech for the inspiration behind this and also the fact that I kind of stumbled upon this because of Lewis Rossman who really does endorse a lot of ThinkPads. Anyway, point number one is build quality. This thing is built like a bit of a tank. Now, it's not made of metal, it's got a lot of plastic, and you might first see that as a bad sign, but the thing is you don't have to baby this thing. It's very strong, it's very rugged, it's very robust, and okay, it might die if you dropped it from a th uh, three floor flat, but when it comes to carrying it around and kind of like maybe having scratches in your bag because of keys and other things like that, when you've got a laptop that's made out of this kind of flexible semi-malleable plastic it gives you a lot more of an incentive to use it instead of just babying it and keeping it in a case and worrying about its fragile nature it's not sharp it's comfortable to use when you're using it on the lap like you may use a laptop and it sits on a surface very well with its full rubber pads it's understated and it's less likely to be stolen because it's not got that famous apple logo on the back it's not made of metal it's not shiny it's just a pretty typical laptop. Even though it's not technically in the build quality department, I did want to include the IO here too, because you get full size USB ports, you've got VGA, you've got an ethernet jack, you've got a headphone port, there's a lot here. And okay, it's not as robust as some big gaming laptops, but for a laptop of this size, you've got a surprising amount of ports. Second point is the keyboard is probably the best in the world. ThinkPads are renowned for having good keyboards, but they are also known in a lot of spaces for having the best keyboards, and I have to agree with this. I've used lots of laptops, I've used the new MacBook, I've used a lot of older Dells as well, and this keyboard has to be the best on any laptop I've ever tried. Its tactility is good, it's not too loud, but it is satisfying, it's got good actuation times, the key travel is nice, the distance between the keys uh, is nice, I mean the whole thing is just brilliant and I really like it considering it's a 10 keyless layout. It's backlit so you can use it at night time, it's very functional, the only problem I have with it is the function key is probably in the wrong place, I wish they'd con the control and function key were swapped, other than that it's great and we get the bonus nipple thing in the middle which is a staple on ThinkPad laptops. Third point is battery because this thing has two batteries. Yeah, there's one internally and there's one externally that you can remove just with a couple of clips like you might see on some older laptops. And that means that this external battery can be changed and upgraded if it gets worn down in a long term use. The battery life lasts an awfully long time for me. I really like the fact that I'm able to use it for a couple of projects when writing and not have to worry about plugging in. And even when I do plug in, the charger is really, really cool. It's probably my favorite charger I've ever had on a laptop because it has that reversible kind of ThinkPad connector, has a very small power brick in the middle, and uh, yeah, it's just generally very compact and easy to carry around. The fourth point is that this thing is very easily serviceable. So a lot of laptops these days have soldered components, uh, specifically RAM and storage, which are kind of the things you'd want to upgrade or change the most. This thing has both uh, changeable RAM, serviceable RAM, upgradable RAM, and the same goes for a two and a half inch drive. I've currently got a 240 gigabyte SSD in here, but you could change that to a hard drive if you really wanted to, although I don't recommend it, or up to let's say a two terabyte SSD, which is awesome. It's really easy to get into the laptop. You don't need any kind of special screwdrivers. All you need is a bit of patience, uh, undo the back with a standard screwdriver and uh, use some credit cards or clips just to get it open. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And kind of reversing back to the battery thing as well, of course you can service the battery and change it yourself since it's external. The fifth and probably most important thing about this laptop to me is its pricing and availability. It's very cheap and it's reliable and it's available to find pretty much anywhere and there are some reasons for this. Mainly because it's used in schools and businesses. So a lot of ThinkPads are used in schools and businesses as you know, maybe in the maths lab or the science lab or the IT lab. And the best bit about this is that they usually sold in bulk on eBay for extremely low prices. I picked up my unit for around 250 pounds and it came with eight gigabytes of RAM and a 240 gigabyte SSD and in very good condition. And because they're so ubiquitous in the business and education space, if something does go wrong, it's very easy to find parts for. 
So yeah, I love my ThinkPad. And no, it's not perfect. It's not very powerful. It can slow down sometimes. The screen is pretty bad. One of the worst screens I've ever used on a laptop. And I think the trackpad is probably made out of paper or something because it is absolutely awful. But there are a lot of things here that just make up for that for me. For £250, I don't think you can get a better computer or tablet to replace this. And I genuinely think that for a, maybe uh, someone who's in school or someone who's in college, this is a fantastic option. I'm running Ubuntu on here because Windows 10 did seem to lag more than I'd like, but I really like Ubuntu. And for those of you who are exploring IT as a profession, it's really good to get used to Linux based systems. And with that, it's about time for me to go. Thank you all so much for watching. Please do like, dislike, comment, and subscribe if you're new around here to never miss a video like this one. Also check out my social media, all links will be in the video description. As always, I want to give a massive shout out to my patrons who have stuck by me even when I haven't up uploaded a lot. Anyway, I've been Ryan Thomas and thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.